part of the challenges right now is helping get this information out in a way that is that does the most good to the most people. So it's like we talked about, it's balancing um, you know, reality with image. Because this world runs on appearance. It doesn't run on, on facts or truth. It runs on appearance. So what is important here to be able to connect with people is appearance. When you connect with them, you want to go beyond appearance to reality, what's fundamental. But you can't make that connection without the appearance. Okay, so it's kind of a, you know, that's a challenging thing to do. You know, how do you uh, deliver truth when the truth is unacceptable? You know, well, you kind of have to sneak up with it. You know, you can't just say, you know, you're not a physical being, you know, and this is all just a mirage. And they'd say, yeah, well, you're an idiot and you know, you ought to be in an institution. You're not going to get any place with that. You know, you have to sneak up on it. So you have to put it in a way that people can understand it. And I tried doing that in the book, you know, in a way that people could understand it. So, yeah, it's not that I, you know, want to tell fibs to people, but if you're going to communicate, you have to start where they are. To communicate with you, I gotta start where you are. I gotta start with your beliefs, your understanding, and your sense of reality, and work with that. I can't start from where I am, because it won't make any sense to you. So that's a challenge, to communicate with people. Then it's a challenge to maintain a, an image of being rational, so that people will actually listen to you, because if they think you're irrational, you're on drugs or something, then they won't listen to your message, so they'll go away. So balancing all that, so how do you do that? How do you get more people to experience and think, well, you obviously have to get exposure, right? You have to be in a documentary. You have to go give lectures. You have to give exposure. And the more exposure you get, the more you run the risk of being crazy. You know, of people writing you off because your ideas are too far out beyond where, where they are. So that's a challenge. So I got a lot of challenges to, to do. And in doing those challenges, you meet people and you interact and you have to, you know, you have to uh, accept what you get. Oh, it's fantastic to be able to hear him explain it in person. I've been following Tom for the last few years. Uh, I found him through the work of Robert Monroe and. Uh, his work has just resonated with me and helped finally explain things that I sort of grasp, but I feel like I really have a handle on them now. And to hear him explain it here in person has really helped to fill out the concepts even better. And it's been a great experience so far. I've been very impressed with Tom and his view of reality and his ability to communicate that view to people who maybe come from a physics background or not from a physics background, maybe more you know, the soft art background. Um, but he seems to be able to connect with people of all stripes with his view of reality.